Rapper Doja Cat seems to be getting a bit tired of how her place in the industry is affecting her. Most recently, due to how people online have been commenting about her body. Over the weekend, she went to Instagram Live to address those who had been on social media making remarks about her body and her weight. She filmed herself sitting at her laptop while using Siri to read out a message that she had written towards the people who had been saying she was too skinny and making what she called creepy comments about her. So here's what Doja Cat, or Siri, had to say. Do I have something to say? A lot of you bitches keep bringing up how I'm skinny and shit and won't shut the F up because you think it's your place to speak when it's literally my effing choice to eat more healthy and work out. I'm really effing sick and tired of y'all talking about my body. I used to be thick and that's forever going to be your problem. Your problem, not mine. So you can keep suffering about how my body looks because I'm living my best life. I'm happy, be sad, sad It's crazy because they don't even know how creepy they sound when they talk like that. As if I'm some kind of sex doll slash boy that needs to look a certain way for them. Hella creepy. You wish I was thick cause you want to F me. It has nothing to do with my health or my happiness cause I don't even look underweight. She then ended it off by laughing or more accurately having Siri say the phrase LOL on repeat. And she's right. Her body is her business and it doesn't affect anybody else. Just because she's a public figure doesn't mean she has to do anything or change herself in any way for the public. And we've seen a common trend of celebrities or receiving hate and comments whether they're smaller or larger. It seems like you really can't please anybody. And this isn't the first time that Doja has apparently felt a bit pressured by her responsibilities and expectations as a celeb. Back in November, she said that she hated taking photos and doing interviews. In an Instagram Live, Again, she said that she felt pressured by her work commitments and that she hadn't made music for fun in the last five years. She said, in between making all these songs for this album, I'm doing all this other shit. I'm doing all this shit that I don't effing want to do. I don't want to take effing pictures. And that although she enjoys dressing up for and attending red carpet photo shoots, she'd much rather be at home. Sometimes I have to effing do that shit, But no, I don't. No, I don't. I feel pressured to do that shit. I don't effing want to do that. I want to be home, I want to make music, I want to play video games. I want to be doing this like complaining on live. I want to complain about other sh**. I don't want to do interviews, I don't want to have questions asked to me over and over again every other effing day. And all those days that were taken for me that I could have been making sh** or doing something productive. Answering questions for an outlet isn't productive to me. F out of here. I hate it. So it seems like Doja has been feeling a bit burnt out by her career for a while. And this may be what led to her statement that she was going to be quitting music. Back in October, she tweeted the following. I'm just tired and I don't want to do anything. I'm not happy. I'm done saying yes to mother effers because I can't even have a week to just chill. I'm never not working. I'm effing tired. And I want to be alone. I just keep agreeing to sh don't want to do in the future. It's my own dumb fault and then I'm too tired to put any effort into this because I'm so run down from everything else. So yeah, her quitting music statement was probably a long time in the making. She has since gone back on the comment but said that it wasn't a joke, not at the time. She said she just wanted to go back to making music, probably in correlation to her comment that she hadn't made music for fun in five years. She said, I'm getting a break and that break is gonna be me making music, which is funny. And that's all I've got for you for now. I've been your host Woody, join us next time for more.